Hello my lovely Leos, welcome to your November 2020 reading. Hope this finds you well and safe. This is a general reading for you my lovely Leos. It's a reading for Leo Sun, Rising and Moon sign. Also listen to your Rising sign and Moon sign. Some months they will resonate more for you than your Sun sign will. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, you can follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there that's going to be specific to you. I'm just creating your spread here. Thank you for supporting my channel, I really appreciate that. If you haven't already subscribed and you would like to, make sure you hit the subscri subscribe button below and the notification bell, that way you'll know when I'm posting new videos for you. So let's see what's in store for you for the month of November, my lovely Leos. <clears throat> I'm hearing the word courage for you. I'm hearing the word courage for you for November, which is, um, is something that um, is coming through really clearly. It's about having courage to stand up for your convictions. Stand up for your convictions in November. If something's not to your satisfaction, then voice voice what you have to say about it. Um, really um, have the courage to, to speak your truth in November. That's going to really, um, it will bode well for you. It will, it, don't be afraid to do that. Not that Leo's I think would be afraid, but you know, that's what's coming through. So really find that Leo courage um, that is yours. That is yours. Okay. I feel like that you're coming from a place of um, there's been some sort of spiritual growth, some sort of enlightenment, some sort of um, change, some sort of shift that's happened over the last few months with you, my lovely Leo, it, there's something that has shifted for you. There's some sort of enlightenment, a change in perspective about life. It's like philosophical. I want to say philosophical. There's something philosophical that's happened here. There's some sort of transformation on a philosophical level that's happened and changed here for you. So let's have a look at what um, November has in store for you. You know, there's November is uh, an, a month of opportunities for you. There's a month of opportunities for you. There's a month of choices and decisions to bring in change, to improve your lot in life, to um, do what it, pursue what you wanted to pursue, uh, pr promotion, um, a new career, um, completion of study, which has opened up opportunities here for you. Um, a sh leaving work, starting a new business or a new branch of your business. There's something here. There's lots of opportunities and decisions that lead to choices that are coming up for you. And that's about you being philosophical about life. So there's a shift in you, which is shifting your reality, shifting the opportunities that are coming up around you, maybe how you work, where you work, um, who you work for, lots of different things for a lot of different um, I want to say to you, which one of you are giving, who, who, which Leos are giving someone an ultimatum? There's a, it's ultimatum time. So it could be a boss, you know, okay, I'm going to, you know, give me a pay increase or I'm leaving. Or it could be a partner, you know, here's an ultimatum. Um, there's, there's an ultim, ultimatums coming up here for you, um, which is really interesting. But um, that's all part of the choices and, and change of path that's coming up here. You're looking at doing something differently, Leo, doing something differently. And you've got the Knight of Swords here, and this is about having the courage to do something different. It's about really not being afraid of making that change, not being afraid of change. Even if you don't know what lies ahead, you, you take that leap of faith, you take that um, you move forward, you have the courage to move forward. Knights always fight for justice, fight for fairness, fight for the underdog. Uh, they are not afraid of going into uncharted waters and moving forward. And this is what is going to come with you. The choices that you're making, it, it, there's a certain amount of faith that's involved here, uh, a certain amount of faith in yourself, in what you can achieve, knowing that you can achieve it, that you can do what you want to do, set your sights on, uh, and having the courage to take that on, having the courage to move forward, having the courage to move forward. On a personal note, what's going on in you, it, this, you've got here, you've got the nine of wands and this is, you know, there's a completion of 
those emotional times, of those difficult times, of those um, battles that you've had to fight, of those obstacles you've had to overcome. There's a completion of that. That's coming to a close. And it's about, see, this is about part of you being philosophical here. It's about being philosophical in, okay, well, I've had these challenges in the past and what, how have I changed? How have I grown? What do I want to do moving forward? I'm going to take with it with me the wisdom and the, um, the changes that it's brought in me on a very deep level and leave behind the trauma of it all so only take with me what I can use looking at myself in appreciation and gratitude and knowing that there's been a shift in you there's been a shift in you so there's some sort of um, transformation of the psyche with you in November my lovely Leos <clears throat> a transformation a change in awareness a change in prioritizing what is important in life and what it is you're wanting, where you're wanting to move to and what you're wanting to do, which leads me to the next card. Interestingly enough, you've got the seven of cards, uh, seven of cups, and this is about setting goals. What do you dream about? What are your dreams? What are your aspirations? Set those goals. It doesn't matter how many goals you set, just set them. Just have a list. Write out a list of what it is you want in your life, what it is you want to achieve, what it is you want to do, what do you want to have unfold for you. <clears throat> doesn't matter how many you set, just write them out. It's about really being clear about it, speaking your truth, having clarity in your, in your forward movement. And, you know, I want to say to you when I'm, when I'm tapping into your energy, I'm feeling at peace. So finally, Leo, I feel like you're at peace. You're finding some sort of peace, some sort of balance here, some sort of clear thinking here because you've had time to be able to process what's going on deep within you. And, and articulate it, give it, um, give it words, give it energy, identify it. So that's happening in the beginning of November, which is going to bring you tremendous peace, tremendous foresight, tremendous um, um, clarity in forward movement. Clarity in forward movement. That's what's going to be very, very clear for you. And as the month unfolds there's going to be celebration here so this there's a wedding coming up for you there's a wedding and whether you're getting married or there's an engagement or someone that you know that's close to you is getting married but there's celebration here the celebration of an engagement or a wedding or a birth of a new child but there's also celebration of your successes celebration of you there's a celebration of you you're going to be uh, quite uplifted and happy um, and have that sort of celebratory sort of um, energy around you which is um, a really really well balanced really lovely um, <clears throat> That's a really nice um, energy there that's, that's around you. Oh, you know, there's that, that real celebration around you. Then you've got the Justice card. You've got the Justice card. And justice is about balance. It's about if you're in a, any sort of litigation or legal issues, there's going to be a fairness and a balance and a good outcome um, for everyone involved in that, in that litigation, in that in that balance but if this is also about the karmic balance there's a karmic balance of everything that you've been through in the past and how you've handled that and um, and now it's time for the good things to come so there's a balancing out uh, so the efforts that you've put in uh, are going to be balanced out with the rewards that are coming your way by the end of uh, but towards the end of November the third week of November uh, <clears throat> the justice card is and, and I feel like the justice card is also you balancing and weighing things out um, you know, weighing out the pros and cons, whether you're, you, you know, you've got these two columns of the pros and cons and what decisions, what choices are you making and what's going to be the right one. You know, there's this balancing out, but it's also about you being balanced, you maintaining your balance, you maintaining a sense of fairness as well uh, in your dealings, in what you're doing, in your movement, in your forward movement. But this is your, the karmic uh, balance coming your way. So you, you know um, how you've behaved in the past and the efforts you've put in and, and, and what's going to be unfolding for you. So only you know that 
Uh, but that's what's going to be happening in November. You're going to see that. You're going to see that coming to the fore. You're going to see that. And that's going to lead to choices and decisions. Make any decisions, any opportunities that come your way, make informed decisions. So this is part of you doing this pro and, pro and con uh, list, you know, positive and negative list columns. Um, it's about weighing out your options. It's about researching. It's about um, collecting data, collecting information so that you can make uh, an informed decision. Uh, an informed decision so that that flows on to you, you know, if you do that balancing out and if you're really sure about where you're going and you're balanced about it, those choices are going to be very, very simple ones for you. And, you know, there's nothing, absolutely nothing holding you back because there's real inner strength. You're just going to feel stronger and stronger. This is your Leo the lion, you know. This is you. This is you coming into your own and feeling really optimistic and really strong. Anything's achievable. You know, there's, there's just um, a whirlwind of leaves around you know things happening swiftly things are going to start falling into place once you um, come to that decision of what it is you want things are going to fall into place very very quickly in your favor things are going to fall in your favor and you're going to feel really strong and really confident and it's also a confidence of I'm not putting up with anything less than what I deserve anything less than what I want so there's a real determination and a real strength and people are going to see that and they think oh well you know we're not going to mess with this Leo, you know, because there's real determination there. They know what they want and they're moving ahead and, and achieving it. And it's that confidence that's actually going to see your plans unfold for you and really do very, very well because you've got the eight of wands. See, things are happening quickly. Things are happening quickly around you. Things fall into place very, very quickly. By the end of November, you're going to start seeing results of your clarity of your ability to make your decisions and choices and um, self-discovery and strength. So whatever it is you want, don't be afraid to go for it. Don't be afraid to do it because November is going to be a tremendously positive month for you to be able to achieve what it is you want, be able to um, aim high. Don't be afraid to set goals because they're, they're going to work. There's a real, really positive energy that is around and it's swift. It's taking you to a new future. Uh, it's things happening quickly around you. Things falling in. You'll be surprised how quickly things start to fall into place for you. For those of you that are moving, that are buying a new home or renting or moving location, um, you will find what you're looking for. If you're selling a home, the sale will, will go ahead and uh, November's going to be a very good month for that. November's a good month for buying, for selling, for moving, for buying a car, for changing jobs. Uh, it's it's a really good month, particularly the end, the last two weeks of November are going to be very, very good for you. I'm drawing three cards with another deck to just give you a summary of the month um, that is a that is the month that is the month that is ahead for you. Let's have a look. See again, you know the five of wands. Um, this is this is things you know anything that any obstacles that you come up against anything that is going to come in, you know, across your path you're going to it's not going to be a problem anyone that's competing with you anyone that's trying to hold you back it's not it's just not going to be an issue it's just not going to be an issue you're going to be successful in in uh, overcoming anything uh, overcoming competitions if you're going for a promotion or a job interview don't be afraid of the competition you, you're going to scream in it's ju it's just going to work and it's and things are going to happen quickly when they do start happening You've got the Father of Cups here, and this is about using your intuition, listening to your your self talk, listen to your body speak to you. You will know how to move forward. The Father of Cups also is a nurturer and intuitive, but also very strong, knowing that what their inner desires are will happen. When they give a command, it will be followed. They know that. And so it's about you having that real level of confidence, which is it's translated into this strength card, knowing very well that what you want is going to transpire, is going to follow through, is going to happen. And then you've got the hangman. And so the hangman is looking at situations from all angles, looking at situations, um, changing your perspective really analyzing, really flipping things over, looking at it from front, back and up, down at every angle. Um, you know, also, when you're in a situation, um, if you, I feel like I want to say to you, when you're in a situation where there's people that are, you know, wanting an opinion or they're arguing or they're disagreeing, just stand back and observe it from a different perspective. 
and you'll get a tremendous amount of information from those things, from those situations. So it's about being the neutral observer as well, as well as um, balance. Hanging upside down requires balance, stillness, stillness, and looking at things from all angles in that stillness, which will be um, very, very telling for you. The Angels of Abundance. Let's have a look at what that has to say for you, my lovely Leos. It's quite an interesting month for you here. It sets you up for 2021. I'm going to have my yearly projections, um, yearly readings come out soon. So you might want to have a listen to that as well, see what lies ahead for 2021, because this really does set you up for 2021. So, oh, that one. There we go. Ah, <laughs> deservingness. Deservingness, my lovely Leos. Deservingness. Let's have a look at what it says. Deservingness. You are a beloved child of God like everyone else and you deserve to receive the support that will allow you to focus upon your divine life purpose. Even if you can't yet recognize your lovable qualities, trust that God and the angels can see how amazing you truly are. And that's what's happening here on this journey of self-discovery for you to find your, your sense of deservingness, who you are, coming into your own. So I hope that that resonates with you. I hope it's helpful for you for the month of November. I wish you many blessings and a joyous November. Stay safe. Many, and if you would like to book a private reading, follow the link below to my website and book a reading from there. Many blessings to you, my lovely Leo.